So, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 Endeavor Gala. Uh, before we begin tonight's program, I wanted to thank tonight's sponsors. Um, Endeavor Annual Gala raises funds to support the high-impact entrepreneurship movement, or as the chairman of uh, Endeavor Argentina told us yesterday, we work to inspire people to think big. Today, Endeavor is proud to support 1,992 entrepreneurs, leading over 1,200 companies in 38 markets. Endeavor entrepreneurs right now are generating 3 million, 3 million jobs and $20 billion in revenue. They're the next generation of mentors, leaders, and role models. And now to tell you more about this, our CEO and founder, Linda Rottenberg. I know, for all that. Adrian! <laughs> I married into a family that takes gift giving extremely seriously. For my father-in-law's 65th birthday, the filers sent him on a year-long scavenger hunt. For my brother-in-law's 40th, the family sponsored a gallery show of his photographs. In both cases, the family came up with the idea, but the recipient had to do all the work. So I was relieved that my milestone birthday last year was celebrated quietly at home with my husband, Bruce, and our daughters, Tybee and Eden. Two days later, our global board chair, Edgar Bronfman Jr., took me to lunch. Midway through salad, Bruce appeared. Was someone hurt? Or was this the birthday ambush? Edgar took out a prepared statement. Uh-oh. He described an elaborate process involving Bruce, Endeavor team members from around the world, and our global board to come up with a high-impact gift. The idea was that starting tonight at our annual global gala, we would bestow a new award, modeled after the Humanitarian of the Year awards given out by the Oscars and Tonys. All the nominees would be Endeavor entrepreneurs, and winners would be those who not only built successful businesses, but also model the Endeavor ethos of paying it forward. As Bruce added, this virtuous circle part of our model has been my passion. With this in mind, Edgar revealed that as my gift, the board and Bruce had decided to name the prize the Linda Rotenberg Award. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. I, uh, I took a moment because I love the idea of finding a way to celebrate our entrepreneurs beyond all the numbers we're so proud of. What an awesome gift. Edgar then said that while the award name had already been decided, the process would be determined with my input because, and I quote, you're a control freak. <laughs> Let me repeat, Edgar said, while bestowing my birthday gift, you are a control freak. <sighs> oh, I don't need to be involved in the process, but now that you mention it, the Linda Rotenberg Award doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. If we're going to strike the, the pose, as Madonna would say, then let's strike the pose. The Oscars, the Tonys, the Lindas. <laughs> Edgar and Bruce just shook their heads. Sure enough, tonight we present the inaugural winners of the Lindas. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the timing of this gift was perfect. Um, this year, we undertook a worldwide ground-up effort to communicate Endeavor's core values. Uh, we're now a network of 500 team members, 5,000 mentors, and 2,000 Endeavor entrepreneurs spread across continents, countries, and cultures. So we wanted to discover and remind ourselves what binds us together. While I promise not to deliver the PowerPoint, one element of this exercise resonates tonight. 
we heard over and over that what makes Endeavor Endeavor is that we put our entrepreneurs first. If there's ever a conflict in the network, the tie goes to the entrepreneur. Our entrepreneurs know that they can trust us. They know we'll tell them the truth, occasionally even the painful truth. And they're able to hear it because they also know we're on their side. As I like to say, we're an organization of, by, and for entrepreneurs. It's this commitment we make to our entrepreneurs that inspires them to do the same. Our entrepreneurs aren't just advised by mentors, they become mentors themselves. They don't just gain access through Endeavor to markets and capital and talent, they open doors for others. They serve on our local and international selection panels, they join our boards, they invest in Endeavor Catalyst, our rules-based fund. And in that spirit of commitment, the entrepreneurs embraced the Lindas, nominating over 100 of their peers. From this list of nominees, the global board, minus me, determined the finalists. And you'll meet our winners in a few moments. But something else was happening while all this was going on that reminded me of the power of Endeavor. The launch of this award corresponds to a time when philanthropy, technology, and capitalism itself are under increased scrutiny and, at times, attack. Some have suggested that philanthropy is nothing more than whitewashing, with people trying to salvage their reputations through philanthropic contributions. I'd like to respectfully but strongly disagree. There may be some high-profile people that have used philanthropy for personal gain, but our experience is completely different. We tell a story of philanthropy, technology, and capitalism working together for groundbreaking and lasting change. By dreaming big and daring to challenge the status quo in places where that's typically not an option, our entrepreneurs are changing perceptions of what's even possible. Tonight, we proudly share four stories of entrepreneurs who are multiplying their impact even further. We'll also tell one more story this evening, that of Dan Schulman, CEO of PayPal. Uh, we are thrilled to honor Dan as our Global Business Leader of the Year, and his message is incredibly timely. <laughs> after, after dinner, uh, Dan will join Edgar for a fireside chat exploring the deeper meaning and moral purpose of business today. You don't want to miss this. The best response to all the stories of negativity we hear about business every day is stories of positivity. What binds and links Dan's story with those of our four winners is that these are all stories of going big, not just in the business sense, but also in the human and humanitarian sense. On behalf of Endeavor, I pledge to keep telling these stories, and I invite you to join us and do the same. Thank you. It's now my honor to call up the man who reminds us of the power of generosity and leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, Edgar Bronfman, Jr., Endeavor Global Board Chair. Thank you. So in, in case you, you missed what a Adrian said, I just, have to, uh, I just have to repeat. In 20... Uh, 18, our entrepreneurs together did over $20 billion in revenue and have created more than 3 million jobs. We have more than 3 million people working for our entrepreneurs around the world. I also have to tell you what a spoiled brat I am because uh, Linda told a story about a scavenger hunt and I just want to say that uh, when we were first married, my wife Clarissa decided she was going to give me a birthday gift and have it be a scavenger hunt. We lived in a, in a brownstone at the time with no elevator. Uh, and, you know, she would write these hints, and I would go up to the fifth floor, and then I'd go down to the basement and back up to the fifth floor, to the third floor, to the second floor, to the fifth floor. <clears throat> and about, after about 15 minutes of this, 
I sat down and I said, I don't care what the gift is, I'm not doing this anymore. Take the gift back, I don't want it, I'm not climbing another stair. And she was furious with me, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just a spoiled brat and I don't do scavenger hunts very well. I, I wanted just to talk uh, very briefly about the Lindas and, and why the Lindas and why they're so important. Uh, and that is that uh, Linda herself is an extraordinary entrepreneur. She not only created this organization, uh, but she took it from effectively nothing uh, to where we are today. 37 uh, countries, uh, eight, almost eight US cities, uh, three million jobs, as I mentioned, $20 billion in revenue, and growing and growing. But the most important thing that Linda and Peter, her co-founder, thought of, and Linda has created, is an is a ecosystem where people pay it forward, where 90% of our entrepreneurs are themselves angel investors, where many of our early entrepreneurs are now board members and paying for the organization that will help create the next generation of entrepreneurs. And this notion of creating a sustainable ecosystem of entrepreneurship that can build jobs and create hope and opportunity where there was none it is critically important. You know, if you're from a poor community and no one's ever gotten out of that poor community, it's very difficult to think about how that might happen to you. But the first person that's able to break through class or, 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 or skin color or religion or whatever it is in any of the countries in which we operate creates a role model for people that uh, is irreplaceable. And many of the people who say, well, if he can do it or she can do it, I can do it. Many of them may not call Endeavor, but Endeavor did have a part in changing what's possible for so many communities in so many countries around the world. And the entrepreneur who made, not only made that possible, but executed against those possibilities time and time and time again, and I've watched her do it, is Linda Rotenberg. So I want to thank her for her selfless and extraordinary work. It's, a, it's an honor to be able to name these awards after you, and it's a tremendous pleasure to honor uh, the entrepreneurs who have received uh, the Lindas tonight. So if you'll turn your attention to the screens, we have a short video to explain who they are. <laughs> 